I've answered this a gazillion times, but let's make it a gazillion and one. How does the whole Rocky thing come huh. along? Where does the Sly spot you somewhere? Huh. Does he does he discover you? No, what happened was I uh, decided to to give up MIT, move to New York, and uh, studied acting and um, started studying some acting because. You know, somebody like you said, say, hey, you're a big guy. You, you should be in the movies. You should be kicking mm-hmm. some ass in the movies, you know. And I, I kind of started, I did some theater when I was in, in junior high, and I kind of liked it. But my dad was an engineer, and my brother's an engineer, so I got into engineering to, to impress my dad, I guess. But I got into, then I was back in acting and um, went up for all of these calls for all kind of weird movies. And, and uh, one was this boxing movie. It, I thought it was just a boxing movie. Uh, that's what he said, and I came up to, you know, there was a long line of guys, like maybe 500, and, um, you know, at the end, after a couple of hours, I was up there, some, somebody sitting at the desk, and they just looked at me, well, I didn't even look up, they just said, uh, what's your name, Lola? how tall are you, and I said, 6'5", and she went, too tall, next, <laughs> and I'm like, uh, and then I saw that it was a Rocky movie, I, some poster, they had something there, and I, re- and I was a big fan of Rocky movies, because, you know, I, I was a fighter and everything, sure. so... So I said, oh, well, this, this could be a good shot. i got to give it a shot. So I, I took some pictures and boxing gear and sent them off to my acting coach who said he knew somebody who knew somebody who once had met Sly Stallone, right. something like that. So six months later, I got a call, and some assistant from Hollywood, some poor bastard who obviously he was like out of breath, hey, oh, finally I got you. you know, I've been looking for you for months. And I was in Europe, back in Europe, and um, I guess Sly would seen the pictures. Mm-hmm. And he had written that script with a big Russian guy. So finally, they flew me into L.A., and I met him. And he had, you know, he had long hair. He was going to do Rambo, too. He was just off to do that Rambo, you know, the mm-hmm. one where he goes to sure. Vietnam and all that. So I met him, and he talked to me. He said, oh, yeah, there's 5,000 other guys up for this role, whatever. So he showed me all the binders. Didn't have emails in those days, so all a mm-hmm. bunch of pictures. And... But he, you know, I, you know, I kind of figured I had a shot at it. So he told me to train and put on some weight and stuff. And then I, you know, I had to audition for it uh, six months later. And then I, I got the role. Did, did you work uh, you, at, at the time? You spoke a few languages. Well, I spoke, you know, uh, I spoke a little bit of English and some German, and you know, like learning in school in Sweden. But, but the uh, the Russian accent. The Russian I picked up, and you, I, I, I practiced because I knew it was a big shot and. I practiced that role and practiced, you know, some of that stuff in Russian that I had to say in the movie. And it was Sly, the cool thing about this is Sly is a shortish guy, and, right? And he's usually, well, he doesn't like to talk about it, but he's usually, you have to find his leading woman has to be a little bit on the short side, too, or the dude he's fighting has to be a little bit on the short side, too. But in this case, he wanted a dude who was a giant Russian. Yeah. So that was worked out nicely for you, except yeah. for the Russian part. Well, he was. Sm- I think he was smart because you know he wanted to create the super, super, you know, athlete that he could beat. You know, right. so he set up that. You know, the right. odds were in, in, in against him. Did uh, I heard? I don't know why, but maybe during the time, like uh, you'd heard him when you were sparring or something like that. Uh, well, we did. We trained about five months for the picture. Uh, five months, twice a day, six days a week here in L.A. I moved out here and we trained together, and you know. You know, a lot of those blows, you know, you get very close and you end up hitting each other without sure. without meaning to. But when you actually, sh- when we shot it, you know, I mean, it's kind of impressive because he's directing, he's starring, he's in the ring all the time getting, you know, punched and everything. So it's kind of, it's really hard work for him. You know, I was just doing the boxing and I was 10 years younger than him. So, you know, I was, I remember I thought I was kind of impressed that he could pull all that off, you know. Um, and I did hit him. If you, well, he wanted me to hit him. He told right. me, I hit me, hit me harder, you know, whatever it was. And I did. And then I guess he got hurt or something, you know. So. <laughs> you know uh, <laughs> I his just brother followed Frank, orders. His brother Frank does a pretty good sly, too. I don't know if you've ever seen, uh, well, I'm ever sure. spent any time with uh, Frank. Yeah. Uh, so that then turns you into this weird sort of pop icon-ish sort of like it's 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 very rare that everyone knows the name of your character in a movie you know everyone's like drago drago could drago beat clubber lang mm-hmm. could drago beat godzilla like just everyone everyone now is, is that a i'm sure it's a blessing but at some point it's become a curse like uh, everyone thinks of me as a russian guy or drago or everyone's yelling hey drago or i can't get parts because people associate me with this movie 
Yeah, it's, it's a bit of both. I mean, um, it is, especially if you're unknown. So nobody had ever seen me before in anything. And I, uh, it's quite unusual, I think, to start acting year you know, one, and year two, you're already in a big movie, and you're really famous. How old were uh, you when you shot 20, that? 25. 25. So, you know, I, I became, um, yeah, very associated with that character, which I guess was good in one way, but also becomes, you know, a, a formidable kind of thing to come up against, you know, because people only see in one way. Because they, right. they really love that character, and people are very impressed by it. So, 